Hello everybody, it's me again, and today I thought I would show you how to knit backwards. And it's not as hard as it may sound, it just takes a lot of practice and getting your hands to move the way you want them to move. Um, before we go into it though, real quick, I want to say thank you for everyone who has subscribed to me. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And I will also put a link to my Facebook page in the description below if you would like to follow me on there as well. All right, I don't want to bore you guys, so let's just get right into the video and I will show you how to knit backwards. Okay, as you can see, I've already started a little sample piece here and all I'm going to do is knit across like normal. This is the easy part. Well, it's really all easy after you practice, of course. Even the backwards knitting gets easy. And I haven't been doing it that long, so it might look really horribly awkward because it feels still awkward. Okay, as you can see at this sample piece here, I've done a garter stitch border on both sides. So I'm going to show you how to do both the knit stitch and the purl stitch backwards. Okay, to do a knit stitch backwards, you have to put your yarn in front, okay? Then you have to take your other needle, and this is where it's kind of weird. If you're not left-handed and your dominant hand is your right hand, this feels funny to maneuver this needle, but it gets easier. Okay, you want to take your left needle, which is your empty needle, and you want to... Take it from this side of the stitch. Like you want to go to this side and scoop it up like that. Then you want to take this, the working yarn, and you put it in between the needles. And this is where I found it to be easier for me, is I take it and I put it in between and put it in the back again. And then I can easily slip it through and then off. I will show you that again, don't worry. <laughs> okay, with your working yarn in the front, now this is only if you wanna do like a garter stitch, so like knit stitch on both sides. Put your working yarn in the front, come from behind the stitch, scoop it up from the right to the left, keep your working needle in the front, take your working yarn, slide it in between those needles, and I always pull it back because it makes it easier. And then you just grab that working yarn with the left needle and slip it off. Okay, that's the garter stitch. That's like if you want to do a knit stitch going backwards. Now, to do the purl, or what looks like a purl, you want to do it like this. You take, you put your working yarn in the back, take your left needle, you want to slide it through see if I can do this properly backwards. Okay, like that. Take your working yarn, come up over top of the working needle and down. You'll hear that click, you'll feel it. You'll feel that little click if you know what I'm talking about. And then you slide it off. Like so. We can do it again. Like that. Working yarn over the working needle. Push it down in between those needles you can see it. I usually grab it with my thumb and I pull the right needle off. Makes me feel like I'm doing a little work with my right hand. Again, you go this way, in, take your working yarn, go up and around that needle, click it down in between those needles. I, like I said, I grab it with my thumb and I pull my right needle off and slide it out. And you just keep doing it that way And you can actually, you know, get pretty fast at it. I haven't been doing it that long. But I could see how this would make, it would speed up the project, especially when the projects get really long and you have to flip like a whole blanket. Okay, <clears throat> we're back to our garter stitch border. Like I said, I'm going to put my working yarn in the front. I'm going to come from behind. I'm going to scoop up that stitch from the right to the left like so, 
Oh, and I lost it. Okay. You take your working yarn and you click it down in between those needles. I always pull it back. It makes it easier. And scoop it up. It's a little tricky. I'm not going to lie. It's going to feel awkward. But you'll get it if you want to invest the time into practicing it. Click it in between. Just like that. And then, of course, you just knit regular on the way back. Like so. Now, I'm not a continental knitter, so I'm not going to be able to show you how to do this in the continental way. Um, but that's where you want your needles to be. That's the positioning of your yarn. I could try continental, but I promise you, it'll probably just confuse you more, and you'll all laugh at me because it don't work for me. I, I don't know. I've tried but I can't get it to work for me. I'm still practicing. Don't get me wrong, I'm still practicing because I would love to learn how to knit Continental. I really have to practice with my tension though. That's where I really stumble is with my tension trying to knit Continental. But yeah, I will show you one more time real quick, a couple stitches and then I'll let you guys do it on your own. Once you get the hang of it, it's not hard. Okay, if you wanna do the garter stitch or knit stitch on both sides, you wanna Pull your yarn to the front, like so. Come from behind, pick up that stitch from the right to the left, pop it through the front, take your working yarn, push it down in between the needles. I always pull it back because it makes it easier to grab. Grab it, pull it off. Okay, one more. From the back to the right, to the left, scoop it up and put your needle in the front, take your working yarn, shove it down in between those needles. Like I said, I pull it back to make it easier to grab. Grab the working yarn, pull it off. Now for the purl stitch, you just take your needle, shove it into that stitch in the back, like that. Take your working yarn, bring it around, pop it down in between the needles. I grab it with my thumb, can you see how I'm grabbing it with my thumb? And then I'll pull that needle off. One more time, a couple more times, why not? Just like that. And like I said, once you do it for a while, you will get faster if you want to invest the time to practice and get fast at it. But it does make things go quicker. Like I said, it would be very convenient for a when you're working on a very large piece or very long piece and you don't want to keep flipping the whole thing over when you start a new row. So this would come in handy. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you want to follow me on Facebook, like I said, I will put the link to that in the description below as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And until next time, guys, I hope you all have a fabulous day and happy knitting. Bye!